I see uh, two kinds of music producers, those who are basically technically oriented and those musically oriented. And I think either one can be successful. There have been major hit makers who concentrate on the technique and the technology and others who are concentrating on the music. I was a musician, so I had to depend on my engineers and mixers and mastering engineers. So uh, my, I believe that a better producer is a music man rather than technical, but you couldn't prove it. The main thing is helping the artist pick the repertoire, pick the songs, and pick the uh, musicians. And John Denver was really a very special artist. He brought in musicians that I would never have brought in who were not studio people, but people he met on the road, folk artists. And I think each of them brought a color to the record that would not have been there if, if I had produced it alone. So John was really a very, very um, musically oriented person. So a musical producer and uh, you can tell the guitarists when they're flat, which you can, I had a classical background so I could help John. He came in one night with a song, a new song he'd written, played it for me on the piano and it was very beautiful. I said, John, the only problem is that it's the exact melody of Tchaikovsky's Fifth Symphony, Second Movement. And it was already a hit some years back. I forget the name of it. And I played him the Tchaikovsky melody, which was his first six, first eight measures. He went over to the piano in the corner, and came back, and I changed it. So now only the first phrase was the same. And it got to be his biggest song, any song. Da 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 da, which is the second movement of the Fifth Symphony. <laughs> so, a technology-oriented producer would have let the his original song go through, and he would have been sort of ridiculed, I think.